Holy! The Mohoka we knew came back last episode, which is basically anime Jesus Christ Onisama just being so goddamn. Cool. But even before that, we had the fight between Shippo and I forget that guy, I'm sorry. I think his name is like, title is like Rain Zero. That was fucking sick. Rain Zero, bro? He may be a one trick pony, but there's something so compelling about, all right, I do this one thing and the one thing really well. And if I can get in the range, I can even smack Onisama. Bro actually got to hit it. And then the battle before that, Shippo versus, you know, the, um, this twin sisters. So the Saigo, the Saigo twins versus Shippo. Um, uh, the battle doesn't really matter. What I'm more interested in is Kazumi and Shippo. Like, are they a thing? Because from enemies to lovers kind of thing is a common cliche. And maybe I'm jumping the gun, but last episode at the very end, the way that she was just acknowledging his all his efforts and basically saying, good boy. And he was like crying. I'm like, is this a ship? Maybe not, but at least their beef is a little bit maintained. Now, I think we're going to a completely new arc and people are hyping up saying, bro, tournament arc. Let's begin today's reaction. Ninth laboratory, not a perfect. This is not where we do our um, silver tower shit, right? Separate lab? New character. Makoto. Oh, more Kudo. So, oh, oh, okay, okay. So, Retsukudo, the patriarch, is the former head, and this is the current head. Head of the Kudo family, Makoto Kudo. Bro has my haircut. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, the parasites. Parasite arm? So, this is what happened. Remember last season? At the end of the whole parasite battle where, you know, Miyuki uses lunar magic Kokutus, right? The Kudo family was there and same with the cousins. And they were doing a bunch of like, um, uh, back and forth to see who's going to take what. So we did, Kudo part did take some parasite body, did some experiments, and this is now the outcome. They have a bunch of these armies. Is that what's going on? <laughs> That's what you guys are saying in chat. Steeplechase. Now, what the fuck is a steeplechase? So, steeplechase cross country has been added as an event. So, it's a specific event. Remember all the fucking tournament events, bro? The fucking. <laughs> we, did so, we did so many of the surfing ones, you know? The fucking surfing. Not surfing, but they're on boards. And then there's the fucking pillar, ice pillar break one, right? And then there's like the ribbon. You fucking. Pussy ass fucking events, bro. The girls' events! Cringe! L! I'm kidding. But I just want the fucking 1v1, bro. I just want the fucking actual battle simulation. But steeplechase. This is a specific event that's going to be added in this event. And that's going to be the arc's name. <laughs> is it Mario Kart, guys? Loyalty programming spell. Kudo, you're kind of insane. Isn't the Patriarch fucking insane for suggesting like this? To have robot fucking testing and make sure that, you know, they're they're not gonna harm the students, but like you're gonna just let them loose? Like you use the students as a test rat? Fucking it in, in, in the steeplechase fucking nine the tournament arc? Kudo is kind of insane. Kudo main right. Oh, more Kudo. Okay, this is the grandfather. So who's the grandson? Where is he? Have we met him before? Completely new character, perhaps someone from the military that we've met before. I don't remember a Minoru Kudo. Maybe completely new character, but goddamn. Ikemen! Ikemen! Minoru is very fragile. Hmm. But his physical abilities. That's after he saw Onisama go like fucking this, dude. Really? Really? You tell me Onisama can't beat Minoru? I want to see Minoru versus Onisama. Fucking do it right now. But he just can't because his body's so fragile. He's great at magic. So. Grandpa really glazes the grandson, man. Them, the military? Sakura's 
scientific experiment. We mustn't produce any more children like Minoru. Okay, so Minoru is literally a test rat baby. Miyuki Giat! Achan has been spying on the Crimson Princess School. Achan. She's pretty cute. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is not a prayer. She's cursing the other school. <laughs> so all the prep that she's done for the last week or so just completely gone. It didn't fucking matter. Okay. Thank fucking god, dude! Battleborn, listen, may, may, maybe hot hot take, but Battleborn, bro, I'm fucking tired of these what? These pussy ass girls ride their fucking little surfboards. Come fuck you. Tired of these events, bro. Cancel that shit. Put steeple chase in. Roar, gunner, shield down. Enough of these goddamn surfboard Mario Kart bullshit. But then again, steeplechase is probably gonna be like steeplechase is basically gonna be the surfboard shit. But like on a horse, steeplechase. What is it? Is it a horse event? Is it gonna be riding some shit? I don't know. It's it's basically substituting one race event for another race event, right? Not for high school students. Why? Okay, so not gender locked and not age locked either. Everyone can prov uh, can do it, but not for high school students. Why? We could be looking at a huge number of students doing their path to become a magician. Why? Because of the change of the events? They would lose the path to becoming a magician. You just lose your ability to use magic? What are you talking about? Onoka ain't listening, bro. Onoka's brain is right now empty. She's just looking at Onisama. She ain't listening for shit, bro. It's just shield on shield? Damn. This is a giga chat event. It's like you and me. I have a shield. You have a shield. We're just gonna keep bonking and bonking. Oh, shield event cracked. Steeple chase cross country. Shinrin Kunren ni sayo sare teiru gunji kunren. Shongai butsu kyosou wo cross country. Onisama probably has done this before then. Mahou ni yoru bougai mo mochi irareru. She gonna do shield them? I thought that Leon would do shield them. Mizuki is definitely not a shield down player. Not for the girls, I guess, but for the guys. You might get lost in the mountain. More military propaganda. In a transparent way. I don't know, I just want to see a bunch of people knock each other out with shields and steeple chase. <laughs> Wait, that's just... Oh, white glasses, white glasses, why? They were so perfect. Just, I love... Listen, there's nothing wrong with having glasses. I just prefer my wife who's without glasses, that's it. Hiromi Saiki. JGDF. So Kazuma reports to her? And this is, I thought he was like top of the chain. Well, at least in season one, and the limited knowledge of the military I had, he always seemed to be the one kind of giving the orders and stuff, right? But he responds to her. Okay, all right. Perfunct. What does this imply then? I thought that the Yotsuba was the most dangerous and that the dependence of the Ten Clans wasn't that much because the Yotsuba family could like, overshadow the Ten Clans. And I thought that Kudo was basically trying to formulate an army using the Parasites from last season. And now he's testing it so that they have something to kind of like leverage against the Yotsuba family, but maybe I'm misunderstanding. Magic equipped battalion? 
特にスティープルチェイスクロスカントリーに強い健康を支持されたそうです、yes. 意外の念を禁じえませんで扱うのはやめるべきだと常々おっしゃっていた工藤閣下の変説に見えます Has it though? Don't use magicians as weapons No, because like in the intro scene His grandson, Minoru, was a product of some kind of research. He's like a lab baby, and he said, We can't let this ever happen again. But at the same time, he seems to be doing things that encourages students to be kind of、uh, learn using magic for a more militaristic way by having them, you know, train with perhaps like with the people chase, but even incorporating the, the parasite shit. So I'm not sure. You're right. Replace the students with the parasite army. That makes a lot of sense. Then it's like, yes, we are now advocating for less of humans in the magicians for the military when we have robots that can kind of do it for you. But that then goes to another fucking、uh, Pandora's box we open where it's just like the stormtroopers, you know, it's like the fucking Clone Wars. So it's like, he who has control of this kind of rules the world. That's kind of scary. <laughs> スティープルチェイスの件では、工藤家当初。Wait, wait, wait, who's married? Head of the Fujibashi family, sorry. Youngest sister, younger sister of the head of the family is the girl that we know, right? Yeah. This is the younger sister, right? Of the Kudo family, right? And then the head of the Fujibashi family married her. Do we know the head of the Fujibashi? Nanigo to ka kaksak s は、後期8月に行われる急行戦とやらで日本軍 But the Japanese pronunciation of his name is Koki But they're calling it Gongjin Then again, the Japanese pronunciation of the viral hit names in Korean is also different But Koki must be the Japanese equivalent of this guy's name But they're going with like a Chinese translation of his official name, I think 日本軍が新兵器の秘密実験を行うことが分かった P 兵器 P weapons, parasite weapons. Yes, but isn't it crazy how this guy right now, Mr. Fucking Skeleton Dude, is the voice of reason? Not only that, but they're using high school students to test their performance. It's truly ludicrous. You're right. It's fucking insane. The evil dude is making sense. Spell to make parasites go berserk. So the robots. Okay, so the P weapons are all crazy. This guy's fucking face. So, like, this obviously isn't his real body. He's connected to these fucking tubes and it's powering this. This is just a carcass, right? So, is this just like a decaying fucking human body? And he just hooked up to it and talking behind. It's basically he's FaceTiming in, but through this guy, if that makes sense. I don't remember this guy either. こちらの基本条件はすでに申し上げた通りです。一切いたしませんし、私どもはマスコミ工作の件はそちらも承知いたしております。Who is Mr. Nakura? He's talking on behalf of the Saigusas? This is not the Saigusa head. We already know that guy. I have no clue who Mr. Nakura is. は控えるようすでに手を回しております。わかりました。Who's his boss? Are they complete new characters I've never seen, right? I don't fucking know, bro. More aptitude test. Miy Miyuki got that dead mom drip on. Oh no, never braid your hair and put it onto one side. You're going to die soon. Necklace and wristband. So it's like people playing video games. Like, you know how people do Elden Ring runs with, with, without a controller? They like think about the inputs and it just works. So, like, the CAD thought, thought using DSD CAD, you can just like think about how to use the CAD and it'll just activate. That's what that research was just now. Okay. Okay. Mm. Date. We'll be going. Date with Miyuki. Oh my god.
We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> How many bags is it carrying? One, two, maybe? Three, four? Bro is looking like the fucking bag kid. Remember little Tatsuya in like the uh the Okinawa movie, bro? <laughs> he was already a bag carrier back then too. <laughs> Is she gonna come out of the changing room? <laughs> what, what, what was that? He, he looked at a bunch of girls looking at bathing suits. It looks like I should step away from here. I might look like a fucking stalker or a creep. Nah, he's so hot they wouldn't care. <laughs> so, this is what we were scared of. This is what we need to get away from. We will get judged. <laughs> Yeah, oh, oh ne sama is changing. Wow. He's gonna marry into the Saigusa family, right? We're doing it right, we're doing it now. Is she gonna be flustered? Is is she gonna be fucking flustered when she realizes that, you know, Oni Sama's outside? <laughs> you look great. <laughs> So she's not gonna keep her cool. Holy fuck, dude! Did she? Was she always this stacked in season one? I, I, I This is definitely thumbnail, right? I'm 100% using this for thumbnail. This is what happens when you get into college, man. This is why I'm telling you, fucking filthy lollicons. College girls are way better. I did see something. It was great time. I thought it would be funny if Miyuki also came out with like a different outfit and then Izumi was like, Oh my god, Onei-sama! <laughs> Look at Izumi at the very right. This is Izumi though, right? Kazumi's in the middle, right? And then this is obviously me, uh, Mayumi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks so fucking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> the twins are so different. Look at that stink eye, dude. Mm. Yeah, why are you being so embarrassed about this? Why are you embarrassed, huh? You, you like him or something? Why do you care about his <laughs> I don't blame you for screaming. I'm so hot. I know. I am him. No, he didn't say that, but some, something about like... No, I don't blame you for screaming when you saw me. <laughs> but it's gonna be our family soon! She said the quiet part out loud. You shouldn't disrupt. Mr. Shiba's date, but Miss Miyuki, because technically, you know, this is what normal siblings do. Normal blood related siblings definitely do this. Then what is it? It's a sibling outing. Nothing sussy, but maybe it really is. Maybe. She's kind of right. <laughs> this fucking <laughs> Yeah, it is a date. Thank you for saying that, Kasumi. I know. I know I'm on a date with my blood-related brother. Oh, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Unproductive. Bitch! We fucking created like flying magic! We just finished today mind controlling fucking CAD magic! What the fuck have you done in your life here? That's a good question. Or Mr. Shiba, is it your sister who you're going to what? Finish it! Oh, Mayumi there was like, that's out of line. True! Destroyed. Senpai. Destroyed with facts and logic. <laughs> <laughs> That's too cool. He's so cool. He just shits on the fucking sister. He did it. And he's like, nah. I pay for your snacks too. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> too slick with that Onisama. <sighs> so cool. <laughs> Nah, you should've gone a little harder. <laughs> Miyuki likes it that Onisama fucking roast these fucking freshman girls. Let them know their place, Onisama. But be gentle only to me. 
悪女の素質があるよな。Wicked woman, I mean, she got that Yotsuba blood. Oh my god, look at that poet. Look at that poet. Wicked woman. Imagine Miyuki when she's in her prime. Head of the Yotsuba family, bro. Oh god. Kudoke Toshu, Kudo Makoto des. Totsen, Moshiwake Gosaimasen. Koki, but it's Gong Jin. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call him Koki too. Koki and current head. Taoist priest. Ancient magic-user.Denから我が工藤家とはいささか折り合いが良くないのですが、よろしいのご協力いただいてきた義理があります。しかし、私のなすべきことはあくまで this is all cap and intentional to plant three Taoist priests from Asia here to do what? Maybe just to make Kuro's family look bad on the other people because of the conflict of the traditionalists and stuff? I'm not really following. <laughs> These are the three? Yellow Turban Army that was mentioned before. So, Koki there kind of like set this up because they knew that Kudo and them already had parasite stuff going on. And if they had the Taoist, you know, traditionalist, or sorry, the ancient magic, which is useful against parasites, then it's good for research, which further incentivizes him to take it, and which at the end kind of. Works out in Koki's favor, though I'm not following. Too convenient. Delete the logs. Delete the logs. Wow, Patriarch does get to hear this either. Okay, we're, we're gonna take it under the table. No leaks, guys. Right, so Saigusa affiliates, he's related to the head of Saigusa. How did he know so much more information? Is he family? Mr. Nakara. Is 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 he ever been introduced as one of the Saigusa? Kudo to Sesh Shokushita Honto no Ryuga. Kyuko Sende Okono Areru. パラスーショーパラサイドールの性能試験に干渉し第二度暴走させ急行までは死ないとあの者は言っていました手段はパラサイドールの性能試験はスティープルチェイスクロスカントリーの競技中にお見打ちに被害が及ばなければ構わないと
even better than Onisama, apparently. Oni I, mean, I mean, Kudo Patriarch literally said, like, no one in the past nine, you know, the tournaments, they could beat you. But, like, bro's stuck in bed. What the fuck do you mean? Then again, he must be just super cracked because he seems to be some kind of, like, um, experiment baby. Because Kudo is saying, we mustn't produce any more children like Minoru, right? Now, there is some other new characters, you know, we had this Kazuma guy who I thought was like the top of the chain, but now nah, he reports to her, and she was in the ending, nice visuals, I hope to see we get more of him, uh, her, and the stuff here, I am always so confused, and any time, like straight up, any time, like this dude shows up, I am just like lost. I understand that he was in season 1, he was from the Great Asian Alliance, and he was doing some weird shit, but I'm just always lost with what he's trying to do, probably because I should have read the light novel and get a better understanding, but just watching the anime, I just can't really seem to understand what his position is, what he's after, but his true allegiance lies with the Mr. Skeleton guy, right? And they are just anti-Japan magic supremacy, so that's what I'm gonna go with. The stuff here, Saigo said, honestly, this is, I'm more interested. The, the yapping between the Chinese dude and the I'm like, I'm like snooze fest. This is like, oh, yes, slice of life moment. Saigo says siblings. Fucking me, 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 Mayumi me, fucking Giat, Mayumi. It's just, I want, I need this more. I just want more of this shit, but unfortunately, we got to do a little bit more yapping, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.